To create a new straight of grain line axis for your piece, go to the Industrialization menu or F4. Find the axis button and click on the fold down corner. The axis window will appear on the left. Check that grain line axis is ticked and then close the axis window. You can now click on the piece where you want the grain line to appear. If you hold control down it keeps the line straight and then click to finish. The grain line will appear in green. To specify where you put text on your piece go to the industrialization menu and click on the fold down corner of the axis button. Check that comment axis is ticked in the axis window and close. You can now draw a line for your text and it will appear in orange. If you need to add a drill hole to your piece then Madaris refers to drill holes as relative points. To create a drill hole, select F1 for the points menu and click on the fold down corner of the relative points button. On the left, the marking window opens. Check that mark tool 35 is ticked and close. You can now double click where you want your drill hole or click on an existing drill hole as a reference. A window appears on the left and you can enter your X and Y values for your new drill hole. If you would like to open out a piece that needs to be mirrored down the centre front or back of your garment, then Madaris calls these derived pieces. Go to F5 for the derived pieces menu and click on the fold down corner of the button SIM 2 points. In the top right hand corner the derived pieces menu appears. Tick mirror piece and centre axis and check that maximum constraint is ticked and then close the derived pieces menu. Holding down the shift key, click on either end of the line to be mirrored down and you will see the piece open out. Make sure you hold down the shift key, otherwise the new half will be a separate item and then you will need to join the two halves back together. You will know if this happens because you will see a line down the middle with two red diamonds at either end. If you need to add seams to your pattern pieces, always make sure you leave this to the end after you've done all your other pattern adaptions. Select F4 and go to the piece section of the menu and choose Exchange. Take your cursor and click in the middle of the pattern to select it. Go back to the industrialization part of the menu and select Piece Seam. Using your right hand mouse button draw a box around your piece, making sure you select all the elements. You will see all of the corners of the piece turn pink and the outside edge of the piece turn green. Take your cursor and click on one of the corner points and a measurement box will appear in the top left hand corner of your screen. Click in the beginning box and type in the width of your seam. If you press the down arrow it will duplicate the value in the end box and press it again and it will add the seam to your piece. If you want to add a seam allowance just to one element, draw a box with your right hand mouse button round that one element. When the box appears in the top left hand corner, add the values as you did before and that seam allowance will be added just to that one element. If you need to close a dart on your piece, go to F5 for the folds menu and select dart cap. Click on the apex of your dart and then click on one of the outside corners. Click and drag to the other outside corner and it will fill the dart and turn the apex into a drill hole. 